The NIH just published a report on an antibiotic-resistant infection outbreak that they had last year in their clinical center. They outlined the spread of the bacteria, which they tracked through modern genetic techniques, and they talked about how the infection spread from patient to patient despite their best infection control efforts. What this report tells us is that we need a comprehensive strategy for fighting antibiotic-resistant infections, which are also known as superbugs. It also reminds us just how big a threat antibiotic resistance is. There are three major challenges that face antibiotic drug developers. They are scientific, economic, and regulatory. On the scientific front, it's very difficult and expensive to discover new antibiotics. The second challenge is um, economic. Drug developers have a lot of economic disincentives for getting into this field. Antibiotics command lower prices than some other drugs, and they're also not taken as long as other drugs for chronic diseases, for instance. The third thing is regulatory. Antibiotics are different from some other drugs because of antibiotic resistance and other factors. We really need to make the pathway for how companies need to test these drugs for safety and effectiveness very, very clear. Companies do not like regulatory uncertainty. And the FDA and companies are now working together and need to continue to work together to figure out clear pathways for getting antibiotics to market. This study was a real wake-up call, and it's one of several that we've had recently. The patients that were discussed in this study uh, were treated with a drug of last resort called colistin. Doctors typically reserve that for when they don't have any other treatment options, when bacteria are resistant to all other drugs. And the reason why is because it causes kidney damage. What this tells us is we desperately need new antibiotics because when drugs of last resort fail, there's really nothing left.